guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see divide players into team of equal skill problem which is from lead code number 2491 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given a positive integer array skill of length n where skill at i denotes the skill of the ith player divide the players into n by 2 teams of size 2 such that the total skill of each team is equal the chemistry of a team is equals to the product of the skill of the players on that team we need to return the sum of the chemistry of all the teams otherwise we need to return minus 1 if there is no way to divide the player into teams such that the total skill of each team is equal okay now let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that we have six players and the skills are given as 3 2 5 1 3 4 okay so since the number of players are six we can make out that the number of teams will be the number of players by 2 because each team has exactly two players so the number of teams will be 3 in this case our goal is to divide the players in teams that means three teams in this case so that each team has exactly the same skill sum okay so what does this mean let's say that i have already shown you a team assignment like from this skill set if we divide it into three different teams where the addition of the skills for each team should be same then team 1 is 5,1 where the addition value is 6 in team 2 you have 2,4 where the sum of the skill is 6 again in team 3 it is 3,3 which is sum is 6 so if it is possible to produce uh, these n by 2 number of teams where n is the number of players in such a way that each team has the exact same skill sum uh, then we need to return the chemistry okay so the chemistry's uh, definition is for every team you take both the skills and you multiply them and uh, the value will be let's say 5 in this case for team 2 it will be 2 into 4 which is 8 and for team 3 it is 3 into 3 which is 9 add up all these uh, product values and you will get 22 so this is the chemistry value okay so if it is possible to uh, do this kind of team assignment where each of the team has the same skill sum then you need to return the chemistry otherwise if it is not possible then we need to return minus 1 So this is the entire problem statement. Now let's look at an intuition for solving this problem. Uh, we will be taking the same array three two five one three four. Here the n value that means number of players are six, so the number of teams will be n by two, which is three. Then equal division is only possible when the entire sum of the skills will be divisible by the number of teams. Definitely right. Otherwise you cannot divide it into equal uh, sum values for each team. Okay, so the sum. must be divisible by n by 2 which is the number of teams so in this case our sum value is 18 when you add up all the values the number of teams which is n by 2 is 6 by 2 which is 3 so the target sum for each team so that each of the team will have equal sum division so if you divide 18 among three teams then it will be 18 by 3 which is 6 right so the total sum 18 must be divisible by 3 otherwise you cannot uh, do this operation fine so if it is divisible then i can say that it may be possible to do equal division it may not be possible as well let's see an example again if i have this uh, array 9511 so i have four people the number of teams are equals to 2 the sum value is 16 so 16 mod of number of teams that is 2 is equals to 0 but this does not imply that we can divide it into two teams where the team uh, sum skill is same you see this if you if you divide it into uh, two uh, teams like 9, 5 and 1, 1 then the sum of the first team will be 14 for the second team it is only 2 they are not equal right otherwise uh, you can also divide it as 9, 1 as one team and 5, 1 as another team so this is 6 and this one is 10 again they are not equal in this case the target sum is equals to the total sum by number of team which is 8 but then you cannot form any team which has sum equals to 8 right so it is impossible for this example right and that is why i said maybe here okay so i hope the intuition is clear now i can apply a very simple approach of sorting to solve this problem let's say i am given the uh, skills array the sum value is 18 the number of uh, people present are 6 so the number of teams will be n by 2 which is 3 and our target sum for equal division of 18 among 3 teams will be 18 by 3 which is 6 okay so if i sort all these values then we can greedily solve it by picking the lowest value and the highest value and checking if it is uh, able to make the target sum if at some point you are not able to make the target sum 
then it will be impossible okay so let's see this if you check this 1 and 5 if it happens to be equals to 6 then you check the next pair which is 2 and 4 then you check the next pair 3 and 3 if all the matches happen from index 0 to index n by 2 minus 1 then you are fine and you can do the assignment so you can keep on calculating the chemistry how do you calculate that 1 into 5 that will be equals to 5 plus 2 into 4 that will be equals to 8 plus 3 into 3 that is equals to 9 and you add it up and that is the chemistry so it will be 22 so in this approach if any of the pair do not meet the target value then uh, you return minus 1 otherwise you return the chemistry value fine so in this case since you have sorted the time complexity is n log n because after sorting you are just doing one iteration to calculate the chemistry and then uh, the space complexity is just order of 1 now since the n value is less than equals to 10 to the power 5 and since it is an n log n approach the log of 10 to the power 5 by uh, base 2 is equivalent to 17 i can take it as 20 and still 20 times of 10 to the power 5 is 2 into 10 to the power of 6 which is less than 10 to the power of 8 and therefore it will run in one second okay so this technique will definitely pass but let's look at a better approach so before looking at the approach we should look at an intuition for creating the pairs let's say that our target sum is equals to x and i need to uh, pick two items a and b so that they add up to b equals to the target x now if a plus b is equals to x then i can write as b will be equals to x minus a right so let's say that our target is equals to 10 and a is equals to 3 then what should be the value of b it will be equals to 10 minus 3 so that a and b add up to be equals to that given target okay therefore if two skills are having values exactly a okay then we must have exactly two skills which should have the value equals to b in such a way that a plus b will always be equals to our target sum if we want to achieve the target sum right so this shows the concept of pairing and how we can implement it for this uh, problem if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number now let's apply our intuition for pairing and do a dry run by tracking the frequency of the skill so i am given a skills array where i have a 10 number of people so the number of teams will be equals to 5 now the sum value is equals to 30 when you move from left to right you can count the sum and since the number of teams are 5 30 must be divisible by 5 otherwise we cannot divide 30 into 5 parts and yes 30 mod of 5 is 0 so it is divisible now i need to find what should be the target sum skill for each team now since we have 5 teams and we have total sum as 30 we need to equally divide it so it will be 30 by 5 which is equals to 6 right so the next step should be to iterate through this entire skill array and i will be finding the frequency of each of the item and storing it in a hash map why did we select this hash map because this will tell me about the frequency of each of the unique items right so in this entry three occurring four times is represented with three as the key and the value of it is four that means three has occurred four times right and similarly you can see the rest of the entries now we can iterate through all these entries one by one and we can start processing and calculate the chemistry and we can also check if it is possible to uh, build five number of teams with equal team sum okay so the first value here the first skill that we are seeing is three so in the intuition part we had already learned that uh, the first value let's say we will always be seeing is a so if i have to find b it will be target sum minus a so here the a value is let's say three and we needed to find a target of six so six minus three is uh, b value will be three now right so it is pointing to the exact same value now this is a special case where if i say that a plus b is equals to something like six and if a is three then b has to be three right now if both are the exact same numbers then you must know that if there are four threes then can i create a pairing yes because there are even count of these threes but if i had removed one three and say there are odd number of threes i cannot create pairs of threes okay that will not be possible 
and that is why if the target sum is let's say 6 and if a is equals to 3 b will be 3 as well and therefore the frequency should always be even if you have odd frequency then it will not be possible to divide them into teams with equal skill sum right and in that case we have to return minus 1 but in this case they are having even frequency and therefore uh, we will be adding it to the chemistry now the chemistry value here will be let's say if we divide it into two teams it will be 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 so you can multiply this 3 with 3 and get it as 9 and again same for the other team and if you add it up then it will be 18 right but just to simplify the code i will not be multiplying with frequency by 2 but instead i can just multiply by frequency at the end i will divide it by 2 okay so if i multiply this 9 by 4 then you will get 36 here okay i hope you understood what is the adjustment that we are doing now let's say the next a value is equals to 2 our target was equals to 6 so what will be the value of b b will be equals to 6 minus 2 which is equals to 4 so what is the frequency of 4 now a and uh, this b must be having the same frequency otherwise how will we uh, create the pairing even right so yes they have the same frequency which is 2 okay so the teams will be 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 4 there will be two teams okay so if you form these teams then simply it will be 2 comma 4 okay and again another 2 comma 4 so the team's chemistry value the product value will be 2 times 4 which is 8 and this is also 8 if you add up it will be 16 okay so we will be adding 16 to this and the value will be 52 right now we will look at the next value which is 5 again when you look at 5 a value is 5 so what will be b value 6 minus 5 which is equals to 1 so b value will be equals to 1 check the frequency of b so b's frequency is same as a and therefore the team which you will be forming is only 5 comma 1 the product value is equals to 5 so we will be adding 5 to this and this will become 57 okay now i will be looking at this one now you see that we will be doing double counting again here so for this one the frequency is 1 right so 1 if a is equals to 1 what will be b b will be 6 minus 1 so b will be equals to uh, 5 so you look at 5 5 has the same frequency so again we will be making a team of 1 comma 5 so these two teams are exactly same 5 comma 1 and 1 comma 5 so the product value is 5 i will be adding 5 to this it will be 62 now you notice uh, that we have done double counting here okay and that is why we had double counted the first one as well so that at the end i will be dividing it otherwise if you don't do this then you can maintain a visited set where uh, if you have processed an item you just add it into the set and you check in the set if these items have already been seen that means the skills have already been seen but that requires another extra space that is why i am trying to avoid that okay now when you look at this four uh, then a will be 4 so what will be b b will be 6 minus 4 that means 2 so 2's frequency is also 2 so the teams formed will be 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 2 the product value 4 into 2 is 8 and again 8 8 plus 8 is uh, 16 right so again 16 will be added to it and this will become 78 so after iteration the chemistry value 78 is actually the two times of the actual chemistry value so i need to divide because if i have seen this uh, 2 comma 4 then i am also solving for 4 comma 2 vice versa right and that is why it is two times so i will divide it by 2 and get the answer as 39 so my final answer for chemistry here will be 39 and i will just return this as an answer so what did we do in this case the skills array was given i was finding the sum in order of n and then i was forming the map each insertion is order of one so i will be uh, taking order of n time again and i will be iterating for all the map values so it, this will also take order of n time and everything is order of n the space taken by the map is also order of n therefore the time complexity and space complexity are both order of n let's now look at the code in this code uh, we are given the skills array so i have uh, defined a short version for the long long which is double l so n is the number of people that are present some value zero initialized and then i will be taking skill frequency map so i'll find the sum of all the items and i will side by side insert each item into the skill frequency map now the number of teams will be n by 2 and i will check if the sum uh, can be divided by the number of teams if it is not possible then we will return minus 1 and if it is possible then i will set the target which is equals to sum by teams and uh, i will assign the chemistry equals to zero 
so here we will be iterating for all the map entries one by one which is a skill comma frequency the skill is the key and the frequency is the value of the map and then i will check if the given uh, skill is let's say a okay and my target value is x the target is x then i want to find a plus b equals to x so if a is already known then i will be checking if there is any x minus a which is already present in the map so if if this is present then you can just add it up to get the value b right okay so x minus a should be present because b will be equals to x minus a so that is what we are doing the target minus skill should be present in the map if it is not present return minus one another condition is let's say if a is equals to uh, two and this has frequency equals to one but if b is equals to four and this has frequency equals to two then the exact pairing of two comma four cannot happen okay their frequencies are different so their frequencies should exactly match if i give you two four four then how will you create two pairs where the sum is equals to let's say six it is not possible right and that is why the frequency should be equals to the target minus skill frequency as well if it is not equal return minus one so if this case does not happen then i will just calculate the chemistry for the current entry and i will add it to the chemistry so since we are doing double counting at the end i will be returning chemistry by two so this is the entire code flow i will also be sharing the java and python code in the github link if you have any doubt then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you